Grace and peace, family. Grace and peace. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. My at hotel. Namaste. Free the land, beloved. Come on in, come on in, come on in. My name is Vicki Dillon, your sister with the curly braids, and I'm pleased to be with you here today on FlyNubianQueenTV.com. And if you happen to be watching, perhaps, uh, me also at VickiDilla.tv, that's my direct channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have a little bit of a ritual that as you come in, please come in giving us a big thumbs up, thumbs up. Be sure to like, be sure to share. I decided to surprise you today with an unusual time because for those of you that may or may not know, I am an on-air personality on multiple uh, uh, platforms, different platforms, alternative media. Uh, and I want you to know that I was uh, with the network for some years ago, but I was absent for most of last year. For so some of you all are unfamiliar with me. So, beloved, uh, be sure to like and share. I'm a media personality and a spiritual teacher. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure, family, again, to give us a big thumbs up on the count of three. OK, on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you so very much, family. We ask that you do that because it makes it um, more likely. I see some of y'all coming on in. It makes it more likely that other folks will know that we're here. And how many of you all know that when you do that, you strengthen our collective Black voice. When you actively participate in elevating our voice and letting other folks know that you are, we're here, do you know that you are actually helping to rework one of the greatest components of the new government that's on the scene. And how many of you all know that we're the new world re rulers? We're the new world uh, leaders? Yes, that's you. Media is a big part of that. Yes, even alternative media, because this is a channel. In other words, it is a means to convey information and consciousness. Talk black to me. I see you coming on in. Happy Sunday to you too. Who's that, Joshua? Calvin, hey, queen. Good morning, glow. And queen of black media says engaging black Negro. Thank you. Um, all right, queen. The goddess in the building says a softer side. Hey, pretty divine feminine energy. Hey, y'all. Uh, thank you all so much um, for tuning in and thank you all so much for uh, listening. Somebody was asking me when I was going to speak on some subject about something else. Baby, if you watch the body of what Vicky does, uh, the keys and the principles to which I speak, I'm already talking about it. There are so many different things that's going on in the world. Focus on what I'm talking about. If you see something that you think is important, amplify it and connect it to some other principle thing that you've heard me teach. When people go to asking questions like that, you make sure that Vicki Dillard's voice is elevated so that I can get a, a maybe a greater staff. Talk black to me. But who do it like I do it, baby? A one woman show providing domestic and international coverage and content and spiritual insight. Don't play with it. And I'm overcoming a serious situation and all kinds of other restraints that just serve for my elevation ultimate. Talk black to me. Don't come to the person that's the most consistent and that speaks for you in, in ways that nobody else does and thinks that we're supposed to speak on every single issue. No, I'm speaking on the ultimate overall general foundational issues. You take my message and you ask others, why aren't they supporting Vicki Dillard? And then you figure out a way that you can put your money to back what I'm doing. You figure what ways you can do to elevate and to amplify this voice so other resources can come in. Talk black to me. I know what you mean, engaging black Negro, but focus on what I just said, beloved. God, today. Thank you, precious. On the count of three, hit that thumbs up button. One, two, three, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. You all know I use every opportunity as a teaching moment. This is not about beating anyone up. But family, do you know that the time of war we're in, I've got to help strengthen you and keep you focused? That means that there's little time to be easily distracted. And that means that I'm going to be sharpening your iron more than you ever have before. Talk black to me. The times are too serious. And I got to help you connect the dots. 
because some folks might complain and nitpick and wonder why isn't this discussed? Why isn't that discussed? This is going on and that's going on. And you ain't put one dollar or done anything to support and to amplify the voice to ensure there's adequate resources and staff to do what I do. One woman show. Talk black to me. So just figure out what you can do to bless and amplify the work I'm already doing. God today. Did you hear what I just said? Ship shaping lives. Engaging black Negro, the one that said it, said I will. Mwah. Thank you, beloved. Now, enough of that. Y'all be sure to follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillon and also check out my website at VickyPlanet.com. Would you do that? VickyPlanet.com. I've been hearing from so many of you. And again, I've got a busy schedule this week, uh, medical stuff going on. And obviously that's first and foremost my priority, which is why I don't have a set schedule or anything. I move the way I move, when I move, how I move. Talk black to me. Uh, talk black to me. So I wanted to pop in uh, when I had a few moments. So anyway, family, what I wanted to discuss with you, as I have been mentioning in times past, is that I'm going to be putting a lot of emphasis on the upcoming election. I said to you, to you all guys a long, long time ago that I would be putting a whole lot of emphasis on this upcoming presidential election because I knew that the Democratic Party would go to no ends to keep you tricked into believing or to forgetting the nothingness that they've done for you, Black family. It's not that your votes are good for nothing. It's just that your Black votes have been good for everybody but you. God, today. Your very Black votes have been good for getting tangible benefits for illegal immigrants. Your black votes have been good for getting tangible benefits for legal immigrants. Your very black votes have been good for getting tangibles for white Afghans. Your very black votes have been good for getting tangibles for Ukrainian, Nazi Ukrainians. Somebody say them Nazis. Don't type it in the chat, though. Say it at home with your babies. Some of you may not may or may not know the history, but for real, for real, Ukraine has a Nazi army with uh, the, the, the insignia of the Nazis on their military and some of their uniforms and some of their ideology. And they got your very black taxpayers going toward it. They have told us that we've spent 50 billion, 60 billion. Some of them try to keep the billions as low as possible. I reported to you the other day on black media that Joe Biden has asked for even more money for Ukraine all balled up with money and resources for that shot and some more stuff. How many of you all saw that? Not only that, dear family, not only that, I'm sorry, family, my little braces and stuff kind of got st stuck here. Y'all know I got to do my jewelry and stuff. <laughs> Watch this. So Joe Biden is asking for more billions so that he can put money, more money towards them shots after Joe Biden came out and said he wanted to put more money. He, dem he asked, uh, demanded more funding for, he said, he used the real word, but he said for shots that work. What does that tell you if he says he's asking for billions more dollars, including resources for Ukraine and some other stuff that they have bottled up in that in that demand? He said he's looking for one that works. What does that tell you, family, for everybody that ran out to get the juice? And those of us that were asking questions, they demonized us just for asking questions. Well, they're sending the Ukrainians billions more dollars. The Ukrainians that disrespected black folks and that proved their anti-blackness and their racism, your government decides that they're going to give them all the money in the world. Why does Vicky look at reports and stay, stay, stays informed with alternative forms of media about what's happening around the world? Because we have been given misinformation based on even the numbers and how much of your very black taxpayer dollars have gone to support other folks. Real quick. Don't forget that your very black taxpayer dollars have continued to keep the oppressive forces in place so that they can continue to benefit from loopholes. Also, your very black votes allowed the AAPI community to get $50 million that was already in the government that they just redirected to their communities. I'm always going to give you the basic stats of what's taken place just over the past few years so that you don't get drunk off of white supremacy and forget the nothingness that you got. I say that to you now to build up your strength now so when the day comes, you don't fall under pressure under white supremacy. You don't start getting shakes 
and having white supremacy withdrawals because you are fearful that the world's going to end if Joe Biden doesn't get it. So you and your shaky self go down to the polls and vote for him. As if there's some difference. And because both sides are anti-black, our point is that we should negotiate with the side that's at least willing to do more for black folks. They don't have to like us. We're at war. So we're going to negotiate any benefits for our interests with either side. And the reason the Democrats don't like voices like mine is because I teach you not to have a distinction. <laughs> Did you catch that? I snatch the mask off of white civility every single time coming from the Democrat Party, who is the most pernicious brand of so-called ally because they pretend to be your friend. How many of you all know people like that that come to you like they're a friend? And they really a devil and a snake. They come to steal your energy, steal your magic, steal your resources. Only to talk about you behind your back. <laughs> only to dog you. Only to scheme. Talk black to me. Only to suck up the tangible resources that you bring to them. That's how the Democrats do. Everybody hit that thumbs up button. Share, share, share. Hey, Shalina, that's my soul sister right there. Watch this. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Watch this, watch this. So I have to tell you this real quick. What do I have to tell you? The New York Times, The Intercept, Axios, Reuters, y'all listen, AP, MSNBC, y'all ain't playing, y'all playing with it. All of these major news outlets, some are better than others, look, are sounding the alarm, screaming and hollering to get all the Democrats' attention to tell them danger, 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 danger. Somebody say danger zone. They're screaming, they're nervous. Because their most faithful voting block, who never demands we actually do anything for them, the percentages are scaring them to death and they're in trouble. Loving that hammer slam. Yes. The Vicky Show, beloved, is the home of the hand clap and the gavel rap. I had this supernatural revelation over 18 years ago, and I brought the revelation of the gavel to the platforms I'm on. I said, I'm the OG. It's the home of the hand claps and the gavel raps. Talk black to me, baby. Bill Jones, Vicky Dillard, you are so beautiful. Thank you so much, precious. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Watch this. The reason I'm trying to teach you, some folks will tell you and say, well, what us not voting, what's that going to do? No, the question is, you voting, what has it done? I got to pull you out of this American propaganda educational system because that's all it was. The American educational system was not invented to teach you to be creators or to be intelligent. It was a means of propaganda to keep you thinking inside of a square and to make sure you never go out of it. It doesn't teach you how to think. It taught you what to think. When you teach someone how to think, they will come to the right conclusions. When you teach people what to think, you keep them a slave. Somebody said I'm voting for Dr. Cornell West. Okay. Okay, beloved. We're going to leave that, that, that madness alone. <laughs> beloved, Cornell West ain't for reparations like that. He is, theoretically, but he doesn't make that a major part of his platform that he is pushing as a primary issue. That's all I'm saying. He confused on a bunch of stuff. And he loves to conflate our open enemy with us. That's all I'm going to say on that. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Now, I'm not saying he don't have his, he, he might not be, I'm not saying that he might not be of some benefit down the road theoretically, but let's just don't play with it. I'm not even going to go there because I got to go. So I wanted to show you, number one, they're sounding the alarms about black folks. Now, I keep emphasizing our votes because some of you all thinking is new for some people. But I'll do respect. 
I said thinking is new for some people. Thinking is new. It's a new adventure, a new idea, a new endeavor. So when people come to conclusions that they think are their own now, it's almost laughable, but that's why we're here to help them. They haven't th thought deeply about nothing. So they wonder why their conclusions crashes and burn in phase one. God, today. Because thinking is new. You've been influenced by certain irrelevant religious dogma, all forms of media is educational system, so forth and so on. So they told you how to vote and then they distract black folks to make the issues of immigration, the in issues of LGBTQ, the issues of everybody and everything else, our issues. And then they play on the heartstrings of black folks to put Ukrainians before us. Now I'm gonna say this real quick because I want you to consider some other numbers that are likely more actual and accurate numbers to what your government is doing. I'm trying to show you how they're spitting in the face of black Americans who are the ones that built America and who is responsible for its sustaining. They told us that they've, they've only spent X billions numbers of dollars in Ukraine, right? They're telling you they won't give us reparations, right, black family? We've proven in no limit of time the other people that they've given reparations to, even if they don't call it that. Descendants of folks that America offended, including enemies of America she engaged in during the wars. Well, they told us since this Ukraine war has been going on, this war that Ukraine is engaging in with Russia, that the United States is, is, is using this proxy war, buying through Ukraine, Ukraine to uh, wage war against Russia, using NATO as well. They don't want to pay us reparations. But this, these anti-Black Ukrainians, we sent based on more accurate reports that I have looked into. Do you all know nearly $170 billion? And do you all know that half of that $170 billion was actually for the war, approximately? And the other half was us funding their government to make sure that their governmental workers had, for example, pensions and so forth, so that their government wasn't destroyed. So that we do you, we are literally sitting here with our black taxpayer dollars funding not only the war, but the Ukrainian government. Did y'all? Did you all hear what I said? These are the stats that I want you to have in your arsenal because it's an even more of an indictment beyond the preponderance of evidence that we have to shame America and her lying wonder self when she says she doesn't want to give us reparations. I'm trying to give you statistics that are more, uh, more accurate in current day. Talk black to me. This is recent history. We have spent approximately $170 billion. Half of which approximately for the war and half of which we are using to fund their government. So we are literally keeping people's rents and mortgages and car notes and insurance payments going, their government with your very black, uh, black, very black taxpayer dollars. America wonder why she's falling. This is another reason, beloved. There are spiritual, metaphysical, alchemical felonies that you got. 
it can get to where you're going. So Kamala Harris was in a recent interview. How many of you all seen where Joe Biden has been busted left and right, showing all manner of confusion, jumbling his words, showing that there is plausibly something going on with his mind and his body. So everybody is wondering what the hell is going on, including a lot of establishment Democrats, because he's a humiliation. How many of you all know the reason you haven't seen him do a press conference and God knows how long is because some are speculating he can't speak. <laughs> he don't know where the podium is. He's at the podium and he'll say he don't know where the podium is. Now y'all know I'm someone that's, over, that's been making great strides because of physical health and all that. So, you know, we are, we're not here to mock or make fun of a legitimate issue with nobody. But the reason we're emphasizing why people are questioning his age and questioning what's happening to his body physically is because when you don't address the medical issues, the biological health conditions of an individual, you put everybody that they're responsible for at risk. So everybody is upset with the Democrats because when they're bringing up his age, they're not bringing up his age as a as a uh, someone that's ageist against older people. They're bringing it up because his age issue and how he's behaving, along with Mitch McConnell. How many of y'all been seeing Mitch McConnell freeze it? How many of y'all been seeing the Republican Mitch McConnell in the middle of a sentence and they ask him something, he just froze. And they tried to fix it real quick. And how many of y'all know they had him at another event and he did it again? What does spirit want us to get from that? Do you all understand that when I've been prophesying for years that there's a changing of the guards, that there's a changing of the gods and goddesses who are going to be the new royal rulers? Don't you know that the spirit ram is backing me in that prophetic word? And they're using this as major signs to show you it's not just their age. These are some of the most symbolic individuals that represents the old dead empire. Did you hear what I said? These public incidents from both the Republican side and the Democrat side is showing publicly, openly, its end. Some of you all don't understand that when we start to make the proper demands, we start to mobilize, we start to unify, we start to move together for black upward mobility, black self-determination, black empowerment. That the system and the powers that shouldn't be will begin to destroy themselves. Talk black to me. If you're just coming in, my name is Vicki Dillard. I am a media personality and a spiritual teacher. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, be sure to join my email list at vickidillard.vickiplanet.com. Uh, and be sure to share this broadcast here where you're watching me. Share it with everybody that you know. Thumbs up, thumbs up. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. We see that we have been making a major difference because here we've helped to uh, uh, reach many people and we're growing uh, in leaps and bounds. So as we expand, uh, pow powerful and important messages expand. You all don't understand that the greater media apparatus that you have uh, is going to be a means for you to move um, the wheels of government more in your favor because you have more of a power and a force with you. So when you get an attitude and tell someone, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Should I like on this? Should I share this? Should I, you acting like you're doing me an individual favor, silly. You can't see the forest from the trees, for the trees. Mainstream media ain't speaking for you. Mainstream media is powerful because we made it powerful. We gave it money, resources, and attention. Free advertisement for years. So you got to help us become a greater force through your deliberate and intentional Decision to promote. I don't know if I'm a support. Get your funny looking. God, today. Like you doing me an individual favor.
Watch this. Joe Biden has been making a fool of himself, right? Joe Biden is going before the world, just not knowing what a mic is. The mic is, this the mic. Mr. Biden, what do you? What would you like to say uh, about the government um, having, uh, uh, you, uh, you and the Republicans, uh, you all have not made a decision yet so to make sure that the government is funded so that the government still pays its bills. You only have a few days left. What do you say about it? They put the mic to Joe. Joe says, where's, where's the mic? Where's the mic? Where's the mic? Mr. Biden is right before your face, sir. It's right, it, it, it's here, sir, it's here. Talk black to me. Watch this. It keeps happening. And his acolytes and his bloody black Democrat shields are the most humiliating. They keep trying to make excuses, but Joe Biden keep making he's making it more difficult for them, right? So the question of his, I gotta hurry up. The question of his age is coming up because he keeps doing these things. So no matter what they do, right? They don't let him do press conferences. They thinking that's gonna help him so he don't make a fool of himself. They avoid any major event so he don't make a fool of himself. They make sure that he doesn't have to walk long distances, right? They give him a, a, a placard. They give him a whole placard with letters, this the font size this big. That's only four words. And he still deviate from the four words, font size this big with a big placard so he don't screw up and say nothing. He's still screwing up. So the Democrats are like, you can only, I mean, you gotta have, when you have a talent, or a client, I mean, God, it's only so much you can do <laughs> to help them. You mean you gotta get, you gotta get just some basic things to work with to help with your, with your, your reputation and the brand and stuff. Just some basic, just basics, basics like say these three words. Don't say these three words. Walk these six steps. Say no comment. And none of that's working. Talk black to me. This is what we mean when we're talking about how the mask is coming off. No matter what precautionary and preemptive type things that they're doing, watch this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I told you both the Republicans and Democrats, right? I told you that that's a prophetic and spiritual symbol of the end of the oppressive empire who refuses to humble herself. We tried to tell America the world is forming against America. Your only hope is to do right by black folks in America, uh, silly. We keep, we keep reminding you, America, how you losing so that you were course correct with your hard-headed self. Because you so hard-headed. Justice for black folks, reparations for black folks in America, that's, only, that's your only hope of halfway even turning this around a little bit. It's the only means to make sure that you at least securing one extra weekend on our planet. <laughs> Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm using a, a joke in that sense. Watch this. Let me see if I can pull it up. Everybody hit that thumbs up button. This video footage that I'm showing you is under the Copyright Act of 1976, right? Watch this. So Kamala, they got them a black looking woman who's really more so aligned with India. She's more Indian than she is anything. And the, uh, the black that she has in her, she go in and out using it when it doesn't serve her or when she thinks it's gonna serve her. So when she's trying to pimp the black vote, she tries to play up her blackness. But for the most part, she's straight. You understand? We don't have no problems against the people of the world. But we also have to call out when you're trying to pimp our race and our ethnicity for your open enemy at that. And whenever Kamala got a job in politics, the way she worked herself up through politics, she used black men to do it. Powerful, political black men to do it. And I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> but every position she got 
whether she was the prosecutor or the attorney general for the state of California. She showed herself to be loyal to white supremacy. She showed herself willing to lock up black folks to reinforce white supremacy's policies, which is why she received the support that she got. Are y'all hearing me today? Hit that thumbs up button, uh, button family. I almost said bunny. That was prophetic. Talk black to me. Share, share, share. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So Kamala, they've been using Kamala to speak, but she is a disaster at also. But they say, okay, I'll let both of these, both the vice president and president are just shameful and humiliating and terrible, terrible, terrible when it comes down to communicating. They keep slipping up, telling the real agenda. They don't know if they're coming or going. They're not good at thinking on their feet. They're such a fraud and they're so paid for. It comes across in every single thing that they do. Nothing that they do works. None of the scripts that we give them, none of the props we give them, none of the supporting staff we get, give them so that they can get their Oscar. That is none of it's working. So they've been working on Kamala a little bit more because she's a couple of years younger than Joe Biden. But they've been threatening her. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> they've been threatening her a little more. Though. So they've been telling her, fool, if you get out there and bust out laughing uh, at a stupid time, silly. And if you go out there and slip up and tell the agenda, if you can't bring this one home, your 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 hopes and dreams of becoming the president of the United States when you and Joe Biden allegedly negotiated that before you decided to get off the campaign trail and y'all secretly negotiated that you would most likely be his VP. And if you stop with all of the uh, anti-black busing rhetoric that you brought to the public through the in the debate and if you quit all this other stuff they'll entrust you to take over the reins watch this everybody denied it right everybody denied it well joe biden keeps doing public humiliating things they finally sat her down for an interview and they told her you better go in there you better use these types of gestures so you can stay focused you better not laugh. You better go and look them in the eyes. You better look tough. You better play up the role. Or you won't be president, Kamala. It's over. Joe Biden's son is busted. They're probably going to prosecute him because his original plea deal fell apart. Joe Biden knows he can be implicated in all kinds of stuff and, and all of the all of these uh, uh, things that's going on with them right now. It's either this or it's over. Do you understand me? She said, shaking and trembling. I got it. So she went home. But her little Chuck, her, her man, to role play. Simone Sanders, remember, Simone thought, Simone Sanders thought that when she did all that for Joe Biden, Simone thought she was going to be the new press secretary. So remember, they didn't even give Simone a job with Joe Biden nowhere. They threw on Kamala's staff. <laughs> y'all remember that? How many y'all remember that? So I got to help y'all. Some of y'all don't know this. Watch this. I got to go in a minute. Come on. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Share, share, share. I see some of y'all coming on in. So Simone started acting a fool and Simone started activating her people to expose Joe Biden for betraying her and all that. So her little team came out to, 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 to expose Joe Biden. They gave her a weekend job on MSNBC, told her they're going to give her access to the White House and top stories. And she said, okay, all is well. So the linebacker for Joe Biden is her, her, she, her, her uh, desire. 
and dreams for grandeur that was completely thwarted. And we prophesied to her before she was officially even a part of his team. We told her, I told her, we know why you're doing this, girl. They will never in hell make you the press secretary. We told you, we prophesied, we decreed and declared over your life. It was not going to happen. We told you, we knew you was maneuvering for him. And we told you there's no way in hell they're going to make you the face for all of America, girl. We told you. But she told us Zaddy promised her in private. <laughs> she told us she knew Zaddy better. She said, who is in, in, in her private conversation, allegedly, 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 it's believed that she probably was talking to all the Democrat folks and stuff and all that. Said, who is that little nobody girl on the Internet? And people like her. Huh, they think they know. She's shaking and jiggling and all that. Ha, ha, ha. They think, girls, girl, we got the digital records to prove. We prophesied and told you. Of course it wasn't going to happen. We saw how you was posturing maneuvering yourself. You messed up the maneuvers. The, all of the, the maneuvers, was it just wasn't maneuvering. And you got humiliated. So much so they made it untenable for you to be at the White House. You left the White House. And they made some little help you get a little deal with MSNBC so that you can feel still feel that you're important because you're seen somewhere. And the girl asked, girl, she yeah, she tweeted out some time ago. She was some kind of Russian expert. I said, God, the day the imagination go a long way, Daddy. I believe in imagination, but they she out here claiming she's some kind of Russian expert, guys. And I was like, Lord, God, today, Jesus, Lord, we're going to leave that alone, Vicky. you way off. Get to where you're going. So I want to expose the scheme that Kamala the ex slipped up and leaked the scheme that they was just positioning her to keep white supremacy going. Before I show you this clip, the reason why the age is important, family, because I also want you to see that the age of the old empire is coming to an end, right? So what's happening with people that keeps lying for Joe Biden? Anybody that comes in like Kamala Harris, they're trying to prop up the old dead order, which makes them, puts them in opposition to us. Anybody that's willing to prop up the old dead order, anybody that's willing to keep oppressive systems and establishment and institution and policies in place that they know destroy black families, they are not our friends. Keep that in mind. This video is under the Copyright Act of 1976. And I'm using it for purposes of fair use, criticism, comment, and so forth. Are y'all hearing me? So she was asked this question in this interview. Where's this interview speaker? Okay, here we go. Let me let me let me get it for you. I'll go ahead and have questions about how you accept the role, you know, if necessary. Watch this. Hold on, hold on. The president's age often go ahead and have questions about how you accept the role, you know, if necessary. You feel prepared Wait a minute. for the president's age often go hand in hand with questions about how you accept in the role, you know, if necessary. Do you feel prepared for that possibility? Uh, and has serving as vice president prepared you for, for that job? Yes. And how would you, you know, describe the, that, that process? Well, first of all, let's, I'm answering your hypothetical. Um, okay, family, I'm gonna replay that because this is happening so fast. I need my intelligent black people to tune in. I need you all to put your thinking caps on. How many of you ever heard that word before in school? I told you at the beginning of this broadcast that thinking is new for some people. So erase your mind of what you've been taught and what you generally think might be going on here and be still and think deeper, right? I want you to listen again. I want you to listen again. Somebody said respect from Buffalo, New York. Queen, I love New York. Thank you, Black A's. Listen, family. So the president's age often go hand in hand with questions about how you accept in the role, you know, if necessary. Do you feel prepared for that possibility? Uh, and has serving as vice president prepared you for, for that job? Yes. And how would you? Did y'all hear the, the president's age often go? Family, I got to play it again. I'm a teacher by nature, family. I got to play it again. Listen closely because the guy's talking fast. Listen closely to his question and listen closely to her answer. So the president's age often go hand in hand with questions about how you accept in the role, you know, if necessary. Do you feel prepared for that possibility? Uh, and has serving as vice president prepared you for, for that job? Yes. And 
Some of you may say, well, Vicki, all vice presidents are prepared. They know that they might have to be president if something happens to the president, to the, uh, the president that they're under. She's going to address that in a minute. But he asked her also, not just about the age. He said, has President Joe Biden prepared you for that role? And she slipped up and realized that she, oops, leaked it. I want y'all, Vicky don't need to exaggerate nothing. Watch it again, listen again, and then watch how she tries to clean it up. So the president's age, off and go hand in hand with questions about how you accept in the role, you know, if necessary. Do you feel prepared for that possibility? Uh, and serving as vice president prepared you for, for that job. Yes. Eh. What did you say, T, T1 of TMH? You said it right. Somebody in the chat just said, when they talk fast, you have to listen slow as per my GMA. <laughs> I may have to ask permission to adopt that for the dictionary. What did your GMA say to you, T1? When they talk fast, you have to listen slow. This is Vicky teaching you how to be a superior warrior. You all think this is unimportant when I teach you that media is warfare and when I'm showing you the subtle tricks, but it is the most important. It is how they galvanize the masses to move in a particular way. What did they, what did T.I., uh, T1's uh, grandma teach them? When they talk fast, you better listen slow. I want you to do it one more time. Don't get mad at me, family. I want you to listen again because I want you to know your sister is not making it up. He didn't just ask her if she was prepared because of Joe Biden's questions of Joe Biden's age. He specifically asked, did Joe Biden prepare her? <laughs> listen. Pay attention. So the president's age often go hand in hand with questions about how you accept in the role, you know, if necessary. Do you feel prepared for that possibility? Uh, and serving as vice president prepared you for, for that job. Yes. Look. And how would you, you know, describe the, that, that process? Well, first of all, let's, I'm answering your hypothetical. Um, Wait a minute. Kamala is such a dingbat. She's such a dingbat. She didn't separate the two questions he asked her at one because he slipped that in with not just are you basically theoretically prepared to obviously take over because of questions that keep coming up over Joe Biden's age. He specifically said, and has Joe Biden prepared you to take the reins? And she said yes. When she realized, oh, I done blanked up. He was trying to get her to elaborate further because she just straight up said yes to the plot and to the plan they always had all along because she's a dependable biscuit that's willing to keep the anti-black, a, a pro-oppressive empire going. Watch this. Sheila, you say something interesting. Sheila said, no, she's not prepared. No, baby, it's not that she ain't prepared. She got a whole team of people that made her to prepare her. Watch my whole broadcast. If you just came in, I'll address that. It's just that it doesn't matter how well they prepare them. It's the divine that allows them to still slip up. Black family, y'all gotta stay with me. They did all the preparing in the world. And I'm trying to show you how it's still not working. Do you understand? Watch how she tries to clean it up. We're going to start from the beginning. It's going to be my last time playing it, that part. Now watch how she cleans it up when he realizes that she straight up just admitted that she specifically is being prepared by Joe Biden. So the president's age often go hand in hand with questions about how you accept in the role, you know, if necessary. Do you feel prepared for that possibility? Uh, and serving as vice president prepared you for, for that job. Yes. And how would you, you know, describe the, that, that process? Well, first of all, let's, I'm answering your hypothetical, um, but Joe Biden's going to be fine. So that is not going to come to fruition. But let us also understand that every vice president, every vice president understands that when they take the oath, 
that they must be very clear about the responsibility they may have to take over the job of being president. I am no different. Watch this. That's what you should have said the first time. The first time you should have said, you should have corrected him. And the first time you should have made the distinction, but you didn't. He busted you. And when you said no, and he did a follow-up question, you realized that you screwed up, Kamala. And you turned around and emphasized the fact, well, let's be, I, I'm just answering your hypothetical. And Joe Biden is going to be fine. It's not just a hypothetical. He slipped in two questions in one and said, is Joe Biden, was he preparing you? And she said, yes. And she shut her mouth. That would have been the time for her to give the appropriate response there and shut that down. But she didn't. Watch a little bit more, family. Oh, baby, they telling on themselves. Let me see if I can find the next part to um, cue this. Thumbs up, everybody hit that thumbs up button. Share, share, share. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Share, share, share. One issue for voters in the upcoming election is President Biden's age. An AP poll recently showed that 77% of Americans and 69% of Democrats uh, believe he's too old for a second term. Uh, do you think he's ready to serve as president until he's 86? And somebody who works with him, you know, have you seen changes in recent years? But Notice how he keeps putting two questions in one. He knows what he's doing. He specifically asked her about the age issue, right? But then he slips up with the second question and says, have you noticed any changes? Pay attention to see if she addresses those specific questions, especially the one where he asked her, have you seen any changes? Meaning in his mental and physical capacity to serve. This is not being anti-ageist. Uh, 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 this has been a uh, ageist against him. And it's certainly not disrespecting his health. It's the fact that the most powerful person in the United States and arguably the world who has access to nuclear codes has to be in tip top shape and God knows must have the presence of mind to make appropriate decisions. Listen closely to see if she answers his question about whether or not she's seen changes. Watch how she responds. Don't think Vicky making this up. The, see, the, the devil, the enemy, the real devil who's a liar. Not the devil they told you was under the ground with a pitchfork, silly. Well, he's 86. And someone who works with them, you know, have you seen changes in recent years? First of all, let me say that our president has been an extraordinary leader who has accomplished things that previous presidents hoped and dreamed and promised they would do and did not achieve. Remember that whole thing about infrastructure week, Joe Biden under his leadership and because of his leadership passed the most substantial. I want y'all to just, I forgive me. She's getting ready to get ginned up. So I want y'all to watch how she getting ready to start ship shaping her body. How she getting ready to... <laughs> I'm going to give y'all another example later, but, but watch how she getting ready to get tuned up. The structural law in recent American history, which is transformative in terms of what it is currently in the process of doing to build back up America's infrastructure, whether it be roads and bridges or ensuring that all families have access to affordable high speed Internet to what we must do to make sure that people have the ability to just get where they need to go and we will create the jobs in the process. We have created under Joe Biden's leadership over 800,000 manufacturing jobs right here in the United States. We have created 13 million new jobs under Joe Biden's leadership. So yes, I see him every day. A substantial amount of time we spend together is in the Oval Office where I see how his ability to understand issues Look. And weave through complex issues in a way that no one else can to make smart and important decisions on behalf of the American people have played out. And so I will say to you that I think the American people ultimately want to know that their president delivers and Joe Biden delivers. Girl, Kamala thinks she's slick. So for somebody that just said she's not prepared, that's what they told her to say. His question specifically said, have you noticed changes with him she said she gave this big speech 
about some stuff she claims he was able to accomplish. She brought it back to look like she was answering his question to say, yes, I spend time with him and I have seen him show how he's got the capacity to understand in a way that nobody can understand. But notice she did not say she has not noticed any diminishment in his thinking and in his mental and physical capacity. She did not address it. And the reason she's not going to address that is because she's afraid that somewhere down the line, someone who was a staff member is going to betray them and give receipts that not only did all of Joe Biden's staff know, but especially his VP knew, as well as Obama and everybody else knew that Joe Biden's funny looking self is on the decline. So she did not want to put herself in that specific line of lie because she knew that might come back on her. So instead, she just simply said she's seen him make good decisions, good decisions. I saw him that day, one day thinking. <laughs> I think it was a Tuesday from like two o'clock to 202. He was thinking good and strong. I was with him. Every day I'm with him. It's a minute, a minute or two where it's just straight logic, intelligence, and coherence. I was shocked. I was sitting there. I was drinking some water and spit it out because he held a thought for 60 seconds, 90 seconds on that Wednesday. And by that Thursday, he reached 120 seconds. I'm with him. I see the peaks of thought to what I said at the end of that meeting. He made some sense. <laughs> <laughs> Talk black to me. I don't see no words in the chat. Where my intelligent black people at? All y'all got is emojis. Y'all got to understand the slickness of these knuckleheads. Everybody knows that something major is happening. Somebody say, why is that important, Vicky? Why are you bringing that in the context of Kamala? Because this was always the plan to put her in place because she is a, re a reliable biscuit, a reliable L-O-M. She's a reliable LOM. I came up with the phrase LOM, which is an acronym for League of Mammies. The League of Mammies is a group of black looking women. Talk black to me, somebody. The League of Mammies is a black group of black looking women in particular. Y'all know I give men that everlasting work too. I'm talking about this particular sorority. There's a league, a specific league of black women that they appoint to certain positions and platforms. They get specific black women to speak on certain cable networks, certain uh, mainstream media networks that get certain black women to write for certain publications. Talk black to me. That's going to push white supremacy and they're going to use them as a double-edged sword against their own people. And because number one, she's a woman and number two, she, she's, she, she, claims blackness from time to time. They knew that they could use that as soft power and a political asset to trick black folks because there's a trust issue when there's a feminine energy in there and especially when there's a black woman or a black looking woman or one that they claim and call is black. That they can trust to take the reins of white supremacy and not drop the baton. And that's Kamala Scamala Harris. Everybody hit that thumbs up button. For those of you just tuning in, my name is Vicki Dillard. I'm a media personality and a spiritual teacher. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and share the broadcast. Be sure to subscribe as well, because when you do that kind of stuff, you make us a more, a more formidable voice. How? Because more people become aware of us. More people are tuning in. And how many of you all know that the only reason why mainstream media is powerful is because we give them all kinds of attention and resources. It's time for us to redirect that to folks like myself. Talk black to me. Don't just keep it to yourself. Be active in sharing it. I said, be active in sharing. Watch this. For those of you that are confused, when Kamala early on, y'all know I don't have, you know, you know, y'all know I call out Breakfast Club, Charlamagne the guy. You know, he he just fakes the funk. He's all about that system too. And I just gotta keep it real. Sometimes he says something decent, sometimes he doesn't. But for the most part, Charlemagne the God is just one of the democratic tricks, just like the rest of them. And sometimes he got to go in and out to look like he pro-black.
by every now and then bringing a guest that some black folks respect or saying something that appears to be deep by being ratchet and pro anti-black pro empire 98 percent of the time which that's what that's what makes you lose credibility now don't get it wrong i believe in being judicious when you're in the system of white supremacy to use your platform for your people. And there are going to be times where it looks like, you know, you're not 100% explicit or speaking like Vicky. You don't need to do it like me, beloved. But you got to quit pushing the agenda and a whole bunch of other stuff that they push. And he does. But this one particular time, he thought he was going to help the Democrats. Because that's what he wants. He, he, he still believes in all of that. And he was trying to help Kamala. But he did it in a way that Kamala was not ready for. So I want to remind some of you that are not familiar with things that I have taught on before, things that I have discussed before in my previous political uh, commentary uh, a couple of years ago when these things were happening in real time. Just Google it. My digital body of work speaks for itself. I want to remind some of you of that time that she interviewed with Charlemagne the God about Joe Manchin, who claims to be a Democrat, but he's a Democrat senator that has a lot of pro-Republican ways. And he a lot, uh, sometimes, you know, even though for the most part, he still votes for a lot of the stuff the Democrats do, but certain key issues, he aligns with the Republicans and he plays a lot of games and tries to act like that if the Democrats don't do what he wants them to do, and if they demonize him and call him out, you know, for his uh, conflicts of interest, and for uh, being a paid, you know, political whore, he feels, you know, he uses his 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 love from the Republicans, you know, as a bludgeon for the Democrats that if you all cross me, if you push me too much, I'm going to go to the other side and mess up the one majority, uh, the one member majority that you have still left in the Senate. So this is what I want you all to understand about him. So when he mentions Joe Manchin in this clip, that's who he's talking about. Uh, and Joe Manchin being a Democrat, you know, kind of holding up some of the progress that the Democrats uh, uh, said that they were trying to make. I want y'all to watch this clip real quick. Okay, watch this. I'm going I'm to cue it, family, because this clip is all over social media from different platforms. I got to make sure that I'm getting to the main thing. I want you all to use this as a reference because I'm trying to let you all know the extreme uh Sucking up, we're going to say, that Kamala does. She's She makes it clear that she's selling herself for political power. And she does not mind being the blackface white supremacist that Obama was, but being the female version. In fact, when she came on the scene politically, they call her the female Obama. Some of you may not remember that. But she they did. That's exactly what they uh, did with her. She knows who pays her. She knows who she's the mouthpiece for. Listen to this argument that she got in with Charlemagne the God. Um, not quite two years ago, I don't think, but it's been almost a couple of years ago. And it's Joe, Bi and it's Joe Biden. Watch this. Let's get to Watch this. Let's get to the part. That's why I said I clipped this. I think it starts. Let me cue it so you don't have to hear this commentator. While I'm doing it, everybody hit that thumbs up button, share, share, share. Let's see if this is it. Watch this. I think this might be it. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> Listen closely. And I want y'all to watch your body language whenever I when I when I move my finger. I want y'all to really pay attention to the extremes to which the League of Mammies will go to for their zaddies. Talk black. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me clear my voice. I beg your pardon. Okay, family. Let me let me get it right. Let's see if this is it. Watch this. Back on Joe Manchin. That guy is stopping progress. He's ruining democracy. Are you willing to be? that superhero because what scares me is if voting rights don't pass or the build back better plan doesn't pass or police reform doesn't pass i doubt you're going to get black people to go out there and vote in 2022 and 2024 and you know trump will be president again what, what's the plan for all of that well i couldn't agree with you more on the the, the seriousness of these issues 
and 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 how family again i'm asking you to pay close attention to her body language and then i want you to listen to everything that's happening around you i'll stop as appropriate listen people take these issues seriously all right who's the superhero that's going to speak against joe manchin no. i want to know who's the real president of this country is it by is it joe biden or joe manchin i'm sorry i didn't want to she, she can hear me. <laughs> can you hear me now? Can you hear me, Madam okay, Vice President? Oh, I'm sorry. You got a oh. so I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. They're acting like they can't hear me. <laughs> this was live. Who was that screaming in the background? Where are my intelligent black people that follow and listen to Vicki Dillard, where you all know I've been giving this person his everlasting work for years because of how trifling she is. Who was that in the background screaming and hollering who used to be a part of Kamala Harris's staff playing dumb so that she can protect her idiotic boss from making endless, giving of the world endless content to make memes to humiliate her, who was afraid that she was going to say something dumb. Oh, only Pamela's way, only Pamela's way know what Vicky getting ready to do. Pamela, don't tell him. Listen. Everybody's saying that's that linebacker. Do you all see how they play these political games where they look like they're trying to talk to black folks and so-called black media, which Charlemagne the God is not, but he looks like it from time to time and a handful of our people don't know no difference. But to the degree there appears to be some level of small itty bitty one inch accountability, they even try to protect them from that. Y'all see that? So instead of it being... Kamala being intelligent enough to know how to push back and shut it down. They know she doesn't have the wits to do it. God, the, day, the upper region of her head, the coordinates up there don't, don't go together. I told you, thinking it's new for some people. Even those that's in powerful places. This proves that other people prop them up. Yes. Because when you're individually pressed, you fall under pressure. In fact, there is no pressure. You just fall. <laughs> Don't no pressure even apply. Watch. So Simone comes to the rescue. Charlemagne already asked her. He said, who's the president? Joe Manchin or Joe Biden? Notice that she didn't. She wasn't smart enough to catch it. And she wasn't initially offended. But when she realized, oh, my God. Zaddy going to be mad at me when I go back to the White House bed chamber. I'm sorry, when I go back to the if that was an accident. When I go back to the White House meeting room. So I got to show Joe Biden when they show him the clip and his team that I got his back because I promised that I was going to earn my way to the White House when he plops him because they knew he wasn't going to probably likely make it then. We were speculative, speak, speculative, speculatively speaking about how they almost take over the reins. And when he goes for round two, he going to win. And then he just going to turn around and say, talk about a health crisis or whatnot. And then she going to be in the room. She said, oh, my gosh, she realized her heart started pumping when, 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 when the linebacker came. When the linebacker jumped in the lineback, the linebacker shook her and made her realize you're screwing up. This is it's. it's the presidency is on the line. The presidency is on the line. The presidency is on the line. That's when she jumped up. Like, okay, I got to get back in acting mode to show I'm really about it. So what did she do? She went from looking passive and confused and dehydrated. God, today! Did she look dehydrated? Fatigued? Talk black to me. I ain't playing with y'all. Why y'all playing with me? Lenore, you're talking about some Vicky. You are the truth. 100% have me screaming. Y'all ain't got no words in the chat. Just like every now and then, somebody's saying, damn, like Shalina. <laughs> watch this. So y'all see it, right? Vicky, watch this. Y'all let it play. I can hear you. Oh, so who's the, so who's the Hold real on. president of this country? So remember, he already asked the question, who the real president? She didn't, she, she was all right. She wasn't smart enough to catch it. But then she got scared. And Simone shook her up and say, the presidency is on the line, fool. You got to go into acting mode, fool. I'm going to act like something is wrong with the mic. I'm going to tell them you got to wrap up so that you can remember your lines, your script. This is Hollywood. Imagine the Joe Biden. 
Madam Vice President. Come on, Charlemagne. No! It's Joe Biden. I can't no, tell. No, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. Whether or not she doing the hydraulics. Somebody put a car in the chat. Somebody put a wheel or put a wheel in the chat. Somebody said, what you mean hydraulics? Watch her body language when she realized her whole, the presidency is on the line for her. She realized she was in trouble, so she knew she got to get the whole body. Thank you. Put them, put them wheels in the chat. Put them cars in the chat. What? Look what she do. She got the hydraulics. So who's the, real, so who's the real president of this country? Is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden? Madam Vice President. Come on, Charlemagne. I really Come on. It's Joe Biden. I can't no, tell. No, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican. Hey, hey, she said, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 wait now. Did you just try to indict Zaddy? The one that's getting ready to give me the reins to maintain white supremacy. Because he done already told y'all that white folks are scared that they getting ready to be the European uh, 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 minorities in the country. He's entrusting me to carry on white supremacy legacy. You think I'm going to mess up the baton of white supremacy? Ho! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ho! Ho! <laughs> Ho! Girl, if you don't sit your I ain't making it up. I can't no, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe and, it's Joe and it's Joe Biden. And it's Joe and Biden. Joe Biden. President. No. Her name is Kamala Harris. Oh, what's, your, what's your name, girl? Oh. What's your name? Hey, 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 hey. And it's, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's Joe Biden. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. And my name is Kamala. Did y'all hear her? Y'all, I can't make this up. I can't if I wanted to make it up. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe Biden, and, it's Joe Biden, and it's Joe Biden, and I'm vice president. My name is Kamala Harris. Girl, what is it, girl? What, what is it, girl? What, what is it, girl? What is it, Kamala? She wanted him to know Ninja, that's all. She, that's the only thing she didn't call him. She was like, "Ninja, I'm about that life, Ninja. Anybody that would dare speak ill of the chief white supremacist of its country and the one that destroyed multiple black lives, anybody that would try to cross him, that's black looking, I'm gonna put you in check." Somebody said, "That's the that's the hydraulic." She did that hydraulic. Oh, that's a hydraulic. That's a hydraulic. In office, we. She had to calm down after the fact because she realized. That she didn't, she she released enough whips. She she thought to herself, Zaddy gonna be real happy with that one. He gonna know. So now I can back off and whip him a little less now. I can pull back, I can take a deep breath, I can get my towel and start dabbing the sweat off my brow. Ooh. The things like the child tax credit, which is gonna reduce black child poverty by 50. Watch this, watch this track to do that. Watch this. We do things that are about saying that our Department of Justice is going to do these investigations. And now she's trying to act like she's talking substantive. She wagged her finger in his face. She did the hydraulics. She pointed in his face. She reminded him who Zaddy was. And then she told this ninja who she was. To prove that she was disrespectful. To prove that it's not just Vicky's interpretation and Black folks in the Black grassroots. Charlemagne, by something he's going to say at the end of this interview, he's a part of the system. Charlemagne is a part of the establishment. Charlemagne is manufactured. He pretends like he's a gangster, but he's a part of the same system. But just for the pretend sake, even Charlemagne is going to prove that she, her energy was way out of line with him. And she was very assertive with him in a way that she never would be with white folks. Watch this. So let's improve that system. It is the work of saying that we have got to bring down prescription drug costs. Watch this. Because folks who have diabetes should not be dying because they don't have enough money in their pocket. It's about saying black maternal mortality is a real issue that must be treated by everybody, including the White House 
as a serious issue. I hear the frustration, but let's not deny the impact that we've had and agree also that there is a whole lot more work to be done. And watch what Charlemagne is getting ready to say to prove what I just said just now. It's not easy to do, but we will not give up and I will not give up. I just want you to know that that, that Madam Vice President, that, that Kamala Harris, that's the one I like. That's the one that was putting the pressure on people in Senate hearings. That's the one I'd like to see. In other words, the way you disrespected me and you talk crazy to me and the way you raised your voice and the way you start hydraulic around this piece. She said, in other words, that's how you need to be with them white folks in power. You ain't got that kind of energy for them, Kamala. That's in essence what that was about. Did y'all catch that? Somebody just said Satan came out of her. Watch this. I want you all to remember how trifling they are. And this is the same Kamala before, while she was running for president, y'all, before they occupied the White House, before it was official that Joe Biden was going to get the nomination and she was going to be his VP. She was specifically asked by, by a black reporter if she is going to push for a specific policy for black folks to get reparations. And she said no. She used a high pitch opera voice to make it clear that she will not do something just for black folks. She made it clear that if everybody can't get some and if everybody can't benefit from it, hell to the no, 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 we ain't getting nothing just for us. Us. I'm reminding you of who they are and where their allegiance lies before some of y'all get the shakes before you hit the voting booth. I believe, as I have said on multiple occasions, the importance of voting on a local and state level because there you exert a greater level of more direct power. Just like you're seeing the reparations major movement like in some places in California, that's because it's happening on a local level. You have more direct control when it comes down to like city councils, things that are happening with your schools, with your police stations, with your fire stations, things that are happening on a local level. When there are certain uh, ordinances and policies that affect local businesses, that affects local taxes and those kinds of things, you uh, have greater power that way. But when it comes down to presidential federal elections, that's a little bit different when it comes down to voting for who's president. When we act like a block. And we decide, family, that we are going to abstain. When we employ abstention, which is to abstain from voting strategically, that is doing something. I love you back. All of y'all saying such sweet things. I love you back. That's what I'm talking about. That's being strategic with your vote because your vote is giving someone power. And it makes no sense when they prove it no limit of time that they're able to give policies and tangibles economic resources to legal, illegal immigrants, citizens, non-citizens, everybody but you. And I'm bringing this up. When I started the broadcast, watch the whole broadcast if you're just coming in. I said, watch the whole broadcast if you're just coming in. I started the broadcast showing you a list of mainstream media outlets that's doing back-to-back -back publication and print pieces, articles, on how the black vote keeps dwindling. And that's because they're scared to death that their most faithful block that they can count on that always made up the difference for the Democrats is at stake. So because we know they're desperate is the time that we must demand abstention from us if they are unwilling to give us tangibles. Do you understand that? You do not wait when they feel real good and they got a whole bunch of other votes. No when they're desperate for yours, when they feel like they can't do it unless you're a part of it, that's when you put your foot down. Do you overstand? I could say, of course, so much more, but I got to go. I've been on here way longer than I was supposed to. I came on here on a day to surprise you because I got a whole lot of other medical stuff coming up this week, so I can't guarantee when I will be here. Just check uh, your, with the, your sister with the curly braids, Vicky Dillon, as to when I'm going to be here. Uh, beloved, be sure to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Share, share, share to Fly Nubian Queen TV here. Be sure to follow me on the Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. And be sure to subscribe to my email list on my personal uh, website at VickiPlanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I. P-L-A-N-E-T.com, VickiPlanet.com. All information you need to know about me is there. I love you so much, Vicky. Thank you for blessing us. with You are so welcome. Uh, Black World TV, understand, overstand, understand, 100%. Empress Reign, I love you, Queen Vicky. I love you back.
uh, Ayana sending love and healing va uh, vibes. Oh, thank you. Yes. Y'all so crazy. I can't read all this other stuff that y'all saying. I love you so much. I receive your blessings. I bless you back. I'm your sister with the curly braids. You are my bliss. And we are in our finest hour. I bow to you. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>